Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to now look at the last of the set of color selection macros. The download and installation link is down below. And this is the select color and tone, which is quite simple in operation. So if I just click on that, I get the usual selection up here. So if I turn off the bottom layer, I get something here. So if I open that up, I can literally select either color or tone. Now the color or tone is black and white and then I can just play around with the limit. And the way this works is when it's on colour, as I turn this up, it's selecting more colours. And I get to the top there. The only thing it's not selecting is little holes like this is where it's pretty much black. So let's select a bit here. So I got the colours they're selected. So the question now, is what can I do with that? Well, a simple thing I can do is to just add an HSL, bring that in here. And now with those, I can make those colors more colorful or I can bring them down. So within the context of the picture, I can make the more colourful areas, more colourful, or I can mute the whole picture. Because these are the most colourful things, turning this down creates a wholly quieter picture. I can also see what happens with luminosity. So I turn that up, that sort of gets a bit more bleached. It's turning down and or burning out almost those brighter colours, or just darkening them. Because they're the main focus of the eye, then it has that effect. So this might be a later in the day picture, and this is more towards midday. So you've got those controls for that. I turn this off for the moment because I'm just going to go back to this and change the color tone there to tone. So I roll the mouse wheel to turn that up to one. And this kind of worked backwards because if I start from the top, I'm only selecting the black and whites, and so I turn it down, I allow more and more bits of colour in. This is quite handy because you can then say what am I going to do where I've got mostly got the, the tone in the, the image. So what I could do with that is simply use blend modes. For example, don't need that HSL. So I'll just delete that. So you from the top one here, look what happens with blend modes. If I go to multiply, then it's darkening, but it's darkening just the shadows. The coloured areas are not so much affected. And I can go down playing with things here. So on screen, then it's just the shadows which are lightened. I'm not over playing the coloured areas. And you can with get all sorts of other interesting things. So these, these will give you lots of things you can play with. You can even go down to some of these things here like reflect, which would make it a more of a sort of midday burnt out effect. So there we go, very very simple. The colour tone select, set whether you're playing with colour or tone, and just play up and down with this. Turn the bottom layer off to see the effect you're having. And then turn it back on again and add adjustments or blend modes. Anyway that's it and thank you very much for watching.